During that last short ride, what may Rommel's thoughts have been? Were they bitter? That he had learned too slowly and struck too late? Or did they go back to the desert, where his military genius had first electrified the world? First at Michele, then Tobruk, yes, and even El Alamein. In any case, his life and fate have best been summed up, ironically enough, in the words of Nazi Germany's sternest enemy, the Honorable Winston Churchill. His ardor and daring inflicted grievous disasters upon us, but he deserves the salute to which I made him in the House of Commons in January 1942. He also deserves our respect because, although a loyal a German soldier, he came to hate Hitler and all his works and took part in the conspiracy to rescue Germany by displacing the maniac and tyrant. For this, he paid the forfeit of his life. In the somber wars of modern democracy, there is little place for chivalry.